Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, this morning for this webinar uh, devoted to uh, biological resource centers as key actors of the agroecological transition. So first of all, I would like to introduce uh, who uh, we are, the organizers, the infrastructure agro BRC RAR, and you can see our website here on the top. So RAR is the national infrastructure for securing, documenting, and distributing the living resources of the earth system. These are genetic, genomic, and biological resources, which are collected and characterized by research for agriculture, food, and the environment. I just would like to remind that a biological resource is a biological material and its associated data altogether. Resources are managed by biological resource centers, BRC. That is why you could see BRCs in the title of the webinar. Our infrastructure includes 35 BRCs organized in five pillars according to the biological nature of the resource or according to the researchers that are using the resources. So a pillar for microorganism, plant, forest, animal, and environment. So what do we mean by agroecology in this webinar? Agroecology, the scientific discipline combining ecology and agriculture research, and also a set of practices. It is based on biological processes rather than chemical processes. It benefits from biodiversity and the understanding of biotic interactions. It supports a systemic approach of agriculture. Uh, it values ecosystem services, aims to address global changes, and aims at developing resilient agroecosystems. So BRCs support biodiversity and are open to users. So uh, they are actors oops, of, of agroecology. So the aims of this webinar is to set the scene to foster new ideas in order to strengthen the role of BRCs for research and practices in agroecology. So we have invited five colleagues illustrating all the domains covered by our infrastructure, crops, microorganisms, animals, forest, and the different dimensions of agroecology. So you will hear about crop diversification, the role of actors managing crop diversity, symbiosis between soil, fungi, and plants, and you will also see how we can set up innovative agroecosystems in an experimental setup to exploit genetic diversity in a crop dairy system or agroforestry system. And this will be followed by a general discussion shared by Christian Mougin. So I would like to thank the speakers uh, for uh, presenting uh, their work. So uh, to uh, ask questions in this webinar, uh, I think you have uh, seen, I hope, sure. that there is uh, on the right uh, on your screen when you are just uh, uh, well listening to the talk, uh, an area called questions. There is also one called chat, but the chat is for saying hello or how good is the coffee or uh, my micro doesn't work, all these kind of things. And the questions about the talks, uh, uh, scientific questions, uh, are in the questions. And then uh, my colleague Roland Cotta uh, will uh, monitor the questions uh, for people uh, online, for people in the room. Uh, you can ask the question because uh, they should be heard, hopefully, by uh, the colleagues at, at the remote connection. And if the, the sound is not sufficient, we will repeat the question. So, which means that during the talk, if you have an immediate question, you can start writing it in the questions uh, zone. Uh, you don't need to wait uh, for the, uh, the end of the presentation. Uh, 